everybody welcome back to the channel if you are new to the channel today make sure you're hitting that subscribe button it should be right over here i believe um i'm gonna put a little video on right after this just kind of explaining how the analytics work um, and how we need your guys' support on the channel we've been doing really really great the last month um, but we still need to keep bumping those subscribers so we can get to our uh, monetization limit and start making this channel profitable, which means we get to start doing cooler stuff. Um, so today's video, we are going to put together some stuff to finish up the giant shaker cabinet doors we were building. And also I'm gonna show you how to trim around a, what's called a bull nose um, when we're doing our trim work on the floor. So I'm gonna take you inside. I'll show you what we're doing um, and kind of the problems that I ran into with these giant doors. All right, here we go. So guys, as you can see, we have 314 subscribers right now. And the last 28 days, we've had almost 23,000 new views. But unfortunately, of those 23,000 views, 98.3% of those people are not subscribed to the channel. So we need you guys to hit that subscribe button, turn on your post notifications, and help support this channel. Okay, so first off, if you don't know what bull nose is, this is bull nose. So you wear your corners of your walls come together. They're rounded off. That's called bull nose. Um, I'm going to show you how to trim around this rounded edge so that your edge comes out looking like this. So I'll show you that in just a second. But first we need to talk about these doors. So if you recall, we got the doors all fitted up in the last video and I mentioned the issue we are gonna have trying to do our trim right here, um, because the doors come out to right at the beginning of the bull nose, but because it swings open and we're on like a standard cabinet hinge, the door is staying really close to the wall, uh, which makes trimming something like down in that corner almost impossible. So what I've decided to do um, is we're gonna go ahead and raise up uh, and put a insert in to the closet. So before we can actually start trimming all of our floor, we have to get these things taken out um, and get the new inserts put in. So let's go ahead and get the trim taken out. Next thing we need to do is remove the bottom hinge. Doing this is also going to help us cover the gaps in the floor right here um, where the trim would normally cover. If we weren't doing this, we wouldn't be able to cover these little gaps right here, which we definitely want to cover. So two by six, we're going to use this to get our height, three quarter inch board. That's the size of baseboard we're going to be putting in. So I'm just going to use that to mark. And then cut that off. I'm going to use a multi-purpose tool to cut this off. Okay, there's our insert. And then we'll just mark a couple studs and screw it in. All right, and there is the insert all put in. Back up so you can see. So just a five and a half inch base. The doors will now bump this bottom piece along with the side frame. So they'll have a solid frame all the way around a hit. Trim will cover that up right there. That way I can bring in my normal trim, will be able to come around the wall 90 degree, and then I'll be able to 90 degree into this, and then we'll have solid flowing trim like a your traditional seat. This is my island that I built. So there'll be trim underneath them like this, and then the door, obviously just a much larger scale. Um, another example would be 
right there. So that's what the other door would look like with the two doors coming together and bumping the trim at the bottom. So that way it's got something to hit at the bottom. All right, so now that we got the inserts put in the closets, now we're ready to start trimming. So the first thing we need to do is we need to create these little corner pieces. Um, so when you're doing bull nose and you're using your regular trim, um, your options are buy a rounded corner, which you can get rounded corners, that's easy to get, um, or you're gonna cut your way around it. Um, and since you can't have two 45 degree cuts, cause the point would be way out here, and then you'd have a big gap and hole behind here, um, you just, you're gonna be cutting um, four 22 and a half degree cuts. Let's go over here, cause this one's a little easier to see. Ah, there we go, you can see that one better. So um, so what we need to do is we need to go cut several of these because we have several corners we need to go around. Um, typically these are three quarters of an inch on the back side. Um, so that's what we'll measure is three quarters of an inch and then we will cut uh, every corner at 22 and a half degrees. That makes two 45 degrees, which gets us around the corner, so. Once you have those, then we'll start gluing everything together. So if right now we need to go outside and count up how many of these we need to make and then cut several of these. Again, the side that goes against the wall is going to be three quarters of an inch. That is your typical bullnose size is three quarters of an inch right here. Um, so typically if you do three quarters of an inch here, you're gonna be safe. So that's what we're gonna start doing and start cutting out a bunch of these. Let me go count up how many we need. Okay, so we're gonna start out here. What I've done is taken just an old piece of trim I had laying around. I've measured out three quarter inch spaces here. So I'm gonna be cutting my 22 and a half degree uh, cuts on these. So all of my cuts will be going, so you can see, my cuts will be going like this. Be making my cuts that way. Um, so if you've got a decent miter saw, all you gotta do is set yourself up at 22 and a half. It's an auto lock for most good saws. So we got that locked, get our slider locked in place. And then all I gotta do is set this thing up and start chopping these out. So in one sec, I'll cut these all out real quick. Okay, so that only took a couple minutes. I've got three cut out. Uh, I need seven total. So that you see how these things go together. Once I'm ready to cut my board, I'll cut a 22 and a half degree angle on my board. And then they'll match up like that. So on and so forth. To give us a nice 90 degree angle. So you can see. Something like that. So it'll come out really nice here. So I need to cut four more of these. I got a bunch more pieces here. So give me a minute, I'll cut the rest of these out. All right, so once you have your corner piece where you want it, so that's where ours is going. Mark with your pencil, measure from your board or starting point to your line. That's going to be the measurement from here to here, to this edge. That will fit right there. Then your corner. And then our next piece is really short, but it goes right here. And everything fits in nice and tight. So next thing we need to do is glue it all together. So I'll show you that. And then we're gonna get moving on this. It's gonna, I'm using, uh, like always, I'm using power grab Loctite. Okay. 
Very good. So that's going to go together like this. I try to smash the stuff out the front edge. Great thing about this stuff is that it will wipe off with the wet rag. Don't put too much in like I did. Okay. I'm gonna squeeze that together. Make sure our gap is right. So we'll slide into place just like that. And then we'll just staple this front piece in and that'll be good to go. We don't want to get any more crazy than that. And then we'll use caulking to cover the gaps and we'll be good to go. This back piece could have been a little longer, but that's all right. So now we're going to do the same thing starting from over here. So we got a 90 or, a, you know, a 90 here and a 90 here. And then we've got a long piece all the way down this wall. So we'll get our pieces set, get our marks made. We'll get this piece put up. And the best way that I have found to get a good mark is just get yourself a scrap board with a 22 and a half cut on it. Get everything lined up where it looks good. So that's where we come together real nice. Hold that there. And that way I've got my mark so that I can measure down this whole wall. And then also that gives me my mark for the other side. All I need to do is line that back up and I can mark my other side. So now I've got my two lines that I can start making measurements from. And then I can do the same thing. Even though this wall is much shorter, I can do the same thing here. Get this lined up where it fits real nice. Now I can make my measurements from here and I can make my measurements on the long wall. All right, let's get the last of this trim put in. Okay, so let's see what we've got done here. So starting out, 
I can't finish that piece or that piece because we don't have the trim on our door. But there's the trim. That's the new look for the closet. Trim all done here. Trim done there. All along here. Looking good. Try not to get you dizzy. Then we got this long piece. It has to stop. That piece has to stop right there because we're going to be doing an entertainment center in the living room. So we're stopping there. And then once we build the entertainment center, we'll put that last piece in. And then over to the other closet. That looks much better than nothing being down there. And as always, we've ran out of material, so I've got to stop. Um, we have one little piece um, about three feet long we left to put up and one bull nose left to do but that's going to wrap it up for trim on that side of the house so now we can move on to some bigger and better projects like our bathroom or not our bathroom our laundry room um so i hope you guys enjoyed that if you have not subscribed make sure you hit that subscribe button down there help our analytics out we need to get to a thousand and five thousand and ten thousand subscribers as quickly as we can. Once we can do that, we can start really getting into some awesome projects. Um, we have some awesome things planned for outside. Our backyard is a wasteland. Um, so we've got all kinds of stuff we want to do out there. So, but we need your help and need your support to get to that point. Um, so hit the subscribe button, post notifications turned on, like the video, leave a comment. Um, if you have anything to add, anything I did wrong, anything you liked, Throw it in the comments. Um, I will respond to like 99% of all comments. Um, unless you're just being a troll, you're not going to hear from me. Um, all right, dude. I hope you guys like that. I will see you guys on the next video. See ya.